to share with you one of my very, very, very easy chicken recipes. This is something that I do at home as well as when we're on the road and, you know, it only takes three ingredients and you'll have yourself a nice little crock pot of chicken that you can use for burritos, tacos, salad, and I even make a black bean chicken taco soup, which is fantastic. So this little dish here can be used for three or four different meals. You can put it in a wrap, you can add it to your salad. There's so much that you can do with it. Um, you can even make a dip out of it afterwards. So um, I take a big pack of chicken breasts and I always split it in half. So I have three big chicken breasts here and I have a large jar of salsa and a pack of taco mix. This is also super inexpensive. Remember guys, it's not just about exercising. It's the yin and the yang, right? You can't have one without the other. You have to have exercise and good nutrition in order to see results and to feel really energetic and great after your workouts. So here all I have is uh, three chicken breasts. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Pop that right into the crock pot. One pack of taco seasoning. Um, and you can use regular seasoning or you can get yourself an organic mix or you can even do your own if you'd like to make your own up. You can go ahead and add those seasonings right to that chicken. Just like so. And on top of that, a jar of salsa. Let's see. <laughs> I use my muscles. <laughs> chicken. Now I'm going to cook it at high for about four hours and shred it. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it is all done cooking. Delicious. Okay, so now it's, you know, fast forward four hours. I've got myself some more salsa, some guacamole, of course some cheese multi-grain chips here from Aldi's and some healthy spinach wraps. In this pan I've got some peppers and onions sauteing up getting nice and sweet with the natural sugars in there and I'm going to use these in the wraps as well as on the salad for tomorrow for lunch. So I'm going to show you how I shred up my chicken. Okay great, all I'm going to do is take a couple forks and I'm going to save the juice that's in there because there is some juice in there. I'm going to show you here what this looks like. If I can even pick one up. Nope. So here's the whole chicken breast right there. See it? Okay, so we're going to shred it in the juice. Simple as that. It smells so good. My whole house smells so good right now. that shredded. I'm going to put all the ingredients out and I'm going to put one together for you. Alright, so I've made some healthy swaps. Today I'm using a spinach wrap rather than a whole wheat wrap. It's green. Not sure if you can see how green it is. But it is green. Good thing for Christmas time. Okay, so I'm just going to use that wrap. I'm going to place some of my peppers in that wrap. They're still sizzling. So, I like my cheese melted, so I'm going to put my cheese, my taco cheese on top of those onions and peppers, and I'm going to use it sparingly, just a little goes a long way. And I'm going to place my shredded chicken on top of that, look how great that looks, so you can see, we want to make too much messes. Okay. And another healthy swap. I'm going to put spinach on mine rather than just shredded lettuce. So, shredded lettuce, spinach. I'm going to pick the spinach tonight. Put a little extra onion and I'm going to shred that right up. And I'm going to move these off the hat for uh, Okay, let's see how many bloopers I can get in one series, right? This is hot. Don't touch. And tonight I am going to use 
guacamole for my creaminess and it's spicy guacamole that's gonna go really good with that chicken Ends in there. Looks yummy to me. Healthy dinner. Three ingredients for that chicken. It's super simple and it goes a long way. Half the crock pot is full. Have a great night.